what is up party people welcome back to my channel i got a very cool haul for you today freaking nailed that right puns man puns anyways guess where i went you nailed it the salt lake city bins this time i went and i spent $41.72. I got 28 pounds at $1.49 per pound. So I'm going to show you 28 pounds of clothes. I did not get any shoes. Sorry, my nose itches. So what I did is I went to a local buy sell trade store on Friday around, I don't know, one something. <laughs> Notice that they were running a real scarily low on jeans. I didn't take any jeans there to try and sell to them. So I went to the bins in search of jeans for them. So that's where this whole 28 pounds. Anyway, so here's the first one. It's cut from the cloth, size 28. These are the Natalie High Rise Boot Cut Short. They're an eight short. I would actually wear these if they were my size these might be like super crops on me since they're eight short you know i don't know i just like the style the cut the color the quality sorry you're gonna have to you know try and don't mind me this as you can clearly see is a patagonia capoline uh you know, one of these. Patagonia. Capoline. I'm trying to show you where it says Patagonia. There it is. <laughs> there she is. Uh, Goodwill seems to think it's a medium. I can't really tell. Oh, it is a medium. Would you look at that? These don't go for big money, but they are good sellers. 20 to $30 sell. These are mountain hardware uh they're a size 40. they're men's wrinkly shorts they're like a hiking outdoor brand like the north face patagonia you know that kind of stuff cool this is my boyfriend's just so you know <laughs> Uh, okay, so I got this one because it was new with tags, as you can see. This is Columbia PFG, which is performance fishing gear. MSRP $70. Why somebody would wear this beautiful dress with pockets. Fishing is beyond me. I don't know. I don't fish in a dress. You know, I usually fish in something like this. But uh, I'm going to sell it. This is so cool. I love looking at all of the velvet velour stuff at the bins. And this had a good name attached to it. So I was stoked to bring it home. So it's Lafayette 148 New York. They're a size 10. And they're jeans. They're skinny. And I wish they fit me but they don't so i got some cute little gloves like kid gloves these ones are spider these ones are burton and they have like a little fox or something the other ones are in here somewhere we'll find the matches as we go along it'll be a fun game <laughs> this is a j crew sweater size small it's blue it's merino wool Yep, 100% merino wool. Came out in fall of 2014, but it feels great. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, the stitching's nice. Pretty blue color. More sweaters for my Poshmark closet. I don't know what this brand is, actually. I just really like the style. So it's Cavallini, size large, chambray, off-the-shoulder shirt. Look at how 
like this is what I liked about it obviously right I hate photographing off the shoulder shirts but I like them I even hate wearing them <laughs> but you know you know I haven't done any research on any of this stuff yet because it is Sunday and I this is the stuff that I got on Friday this I actually have picked up before it's a lucky brand collab with John Ra Ra I can't read that Rob Shaw probably size medium it's a button front shirt with the cool you know I don't know it's really lightweight and I decided I'm gonna pick up uh, lucky brand you'll see I've got another lucky brand in here um, and use it for auction I think this is it yes it is here's a lucky brand I picked this one up because of the size it's 2x and it's just you know a lucky brand very pretty shirt these are pantalones they're torrid size 18 uh what are these these are oh i thought maybe it would tell me Ooh, what did that say these came out in spring 2017 no they're not going to tell me what they are they are distressed i hummed and hawed about you know this part it might be too distressed but i still got them so that means that it didn't bother me that much <laughs> so there's that here's a polka dot dress this is again something this brand i don't love it doesn't sell great for me but i i mean polka dots it's really pretty color it's like a bright pink whatever it's Bowden this is a 12 L but it doesn't say US so that's the UK sizing which is I think this is an 8 US and it's just a, a line type dress it'll probably sell for less than 30 but hey I love this brand in shoes uh, this will be like a auction item it's Timberland it's a men's there's the logo just a long sleeve shirt I'm trying to get stuff from the bins to um, run auctions in my store uh, for Q4 to you know keep the activity up here's my other Burton guy how nice <laughs> this one does have a stain on it um, and I am aware I was aware when I bought it I just really like this brand denim and supply Ralph Lauren it's a size medium but it's huge I am I know people are probably super grossed out right now but it's like I can't even show you because of this cool jacket that I'm wearing okay so it's super oversized white button front uh, I oh gosh I thought that was a hole um, I am gonna have to soak it to get the stains out but it's so cool like it's got like I don't know dolman sleeves super oversized super white super stainy anyway I didn't even look these up there's another one somewhere right here they're like ear warmers or something they have a little turtle guy there and then on the other side it says turtle fur which I thought was funny I didn't look them up because they're really lightweight look this one looks like that dress from my last haul video if you saw that so I don't really know but it has like the same turtle guy on it made from real turtle fur so you know had to grab that Ooh, I kind of want these for me but they're J crew toothpick curvy or cur yeah curvy toothpick size 29 they're super high-waisted skinnies but this is like my go-to remember the video that I said I don't well I mean 
mean, I want, I still want skinny as well. These will go to the buy sell trade store that needs pants. Cause that's the whole reason why I went to the bins this day. This is the first time um, I found this brand. It's Broadway and Broom. And if I remember right, it's like a Madewell J. Crew deal. And I, anyway, so it's ivory and it's got like this Swiss dot type. It's not even necessarily Swiss dot. Maybe it is. I don't know. But that's what that is. It's a size medium. Just a long sleeve button down shirt. Ta da! Okay, next up. These are American Eagle. These are next level flex. I believe these are men's only because they say 30 by 30, right? Because if they were women's, they would just say like 30. Anyways, these are the pants that my boyfriend loves. They're like his jeggings that I introduced him to and he is not a 30. So I will resell these and hopefully, or just give them to the, again, buy, sell, trade. They need pants. Oh. I'm going to need your help, actually, with this. And I wish I would have buttoned this up. I'm going to at least button two. So I'm going to need your help. So let me just tell you a story while I'm trying to button this up. Um, I was walking down the aisle trying to figure out which bin I want to go to next. So what I do is I kind of just look in the bins. I like to look for prints that I like. You know, you walk past a bin that has like this cute little polka dot thing. You, you get curious. So I saw this in a bin and just all the studs immediately. It was like, yes. And it, and there was a girl looking through that bin. And I try not to like crowd somebody because I hate when I'm being crowded. But I did, I walked past and I grabbed this out of the bin that she was looking at. But don't be that person. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, I think this is Johnny Was. Please let me know in the comments if it is. So it says 3J Workshop. Right? That's Johnny Was. That's a that's a line of Johnny Was, I think. Right? Anyway. I think this is what it's called. Valeria studded shirt. I mean, it's got it embroidered right on the back. <laughs> Anyway, so it's studded, right? It's a studded shirt. I haven't checked to see if all of the studs are there or not because I freaked out a little when I saw the Johnny or the 3J workshop. Where am I trying to show you? Oh, right here. So it also has this embroidery and this, oh, I don't know. I just hope it is. Uh, like I said, I haven't done the research on this yet. This is a size large, uh, made in China. I guess we'll just see, right? We'll just see 100% cotton, blah, blah, blah. So I'm hoping that is Johnny was, and if it is, we're gonna party. Okay, I got this strictly because of style. I liked how it looked like somebody spilled bleach on it and then left it there for too long. I almost wanna keep this, but I'm not going to. Maybe I will, but I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh. Abercrombie and Fitch, size large, jean jacket. Look at how cool, I like the bleached hem, the bleach spots on the arm. I am like, was having FOMO on uh, Posh Fest and I'm like, God, I would wear something like this with like a faux leather like skirt and have a cool like graphic tee or something underneath and like, leopard print booties. I would so wear that, you know, whatever. Just pop it, posh fest. Anyway, so there's that. I, I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. Okay. Again, with the auction stuff. So this is Patagonia. Uh, the size has been ripped out, but I think it's a medium. No, it's a large. Uh, it's just a sleeveless shirt. This won't go for much, probably less than $20. i will probably do $20 free shipping on auction. So there's that one. Here's another one. This is a Capoline though. 
Patagonia Capilene. This is the XL. And this is just like a, what do you call these? Spaghetti strap, tank top type deal. It does have like a built-in bra, which you don't love if you ha have bigger boobs. Not that I'm saying that I have bigger boobs or anything, but it's just a fact. People, you know, facts. Okay, I only got this because it's 100% cashmere and it didn't have any holes in it. <laughs> uh, so it's a size large. It's a men's, uh, I that's kind of Argyle, right? That's Argyle. Sweater, cashmere, there's no peeling. I looked and looked and looked and didn't find a hole. I'm sure I'll find one at some point. Keep your fingers crossed that I don't. Okay, oh. I'm trying to stay away from Lane Bryant just because I like Tori more. But this Lane Bryant, size 20, yep, is real cute. It's <laughs> chambray embroidered peplum like come on you're not gonna leave this in a bin sorry i'm being a little weird simmer on down a notch oops oh i found these too i think i'm gonna keep these these just say insulate insulation 40 gram gloves i don't know who they're by or what they are lined on the inside but these will be awesome for like my son's football games. It's starting to get cold. It's actually like 30 in the morning. So you get a little chilly and you need to wear some gloveys. Ooh, these fit my fingers too. So those will be mine. Um, this dress I debated getting. Oh, great. It's all inside out, upside down. It is silk. Uh-oh. Sorry. I don't like to edit my videos. I just turned it completely inside out. But it's Steve Madden. It's a size 8. Let me see if I can fix this. It's a really pretty color. Uh, so it's this purple. It's really wrinkly, but it has, like, balloon sleeves. I feel like this would just be so awesome for, like, around the holiday time. And it's just like a shift dress. It's really wrinkly. I'm sorry, this is not the best way to show you. If you're real curious, check out my Poshmark closet, link below. Again, with the Lane Bryant thing, right? So I got another one, size 14, but it is new with tags, right? So it's $79.95 uh, retail. And this is Christmas, right? So it's a one shoulder, dress it's so nice I really like this <laughs> it's just like a swingy dress and again thinking about Poshmark and if this was a different or posh vest you know all the things you want to wear including this you know posh vest vibes and this is Bob Mackie which I actually learned from you guys uh, more importantly, or more specifically, Jerry, that this is art to wear. The last thing I got from Bob Mackie sold real quick. And this is a velour embroidered jacket. And what size is it? It's a size large. Oh, I was hoping there'd be like something real cool on the back, but just on the sides and on the front. Okay, these are Patagonia, again, da, da, da. These are just shorts, they're women's size 10, like Bermuda, hiking, camping, shorts. Made of nylon, I'm sure. Nylon and spandex. This one's an auction item. It doesn't weigh much. I just got it to auction. It's Ivanka Trump size small just a little work shirt it has a roll tab sleeve there yeah those buttons are functional functional button down shirt really pretty blue color what's this oh 
these are Saturday, Sunday, you see here, from Anthropology, size large. And these are like just lounge or pajama pants or I don't know exactly what, but I just like the print on them. Wide leg, pull-in pants with a stretchy waist. Those won't do, bring huge money, but you know. Neither will these, but again, auction. It's Q4, guys. I need I need to get to get in here. So these are Victoria's Secret Sport. These are a size small. These are actually really cool. I like because I have like the mesh on the back here, you know. And they're uh, capri, but like from here down is all mesh. Victoria's Secret Sport leggings. Oh, this I was thinking about keeping for myself, but it's a little preppy for me. It's Karen Kane size large. This top part feels super soft, super soft and stretchy, comfy material. And then the bottom is a little chambray, you know, shirt tail type of deal. I don't know. Oh, my leg's going to sleep. Where's my other spider? Oh, there it is. I just moved the spider glove. Here's the other one. Ooh, this is interesting. Eileen Fisher, size XL. This is a jacket. What? From the Boons. This probably, not probably, it costs for sure over $100 retail. It does have some like paint or something on it. But like little tiny flecks. Like that's, that's the majority of it right here. See, there's two little things. And it's got like a cinched waist, it's got pockets. I'm freaking stoked. I can't wait to figure out how much I'm gonna sell this for. Eileen Fisher jacket is way more exciting than Eileen Fisher pants, in my opinion. I need to stretch my legs out. Okay, so this one, I was back and forth on getting, obviously it's just like a athletic top. Oops, sorry, I kicked you. It's Miss Me, size large, which I didn't know that Miss Me did athletic wear, but I like the print on this. It's nice. We'll see how she does. Oops. This is Torrid. Hopefully it doesn't like come with an undershirt because this is the only thing I found. It's a four, which is a four X and it's a button front, really sheer floral shirt. I'm just trying to get the bigger sizes, you know? This is Lucky Brand. Yep, size large. It's a pearl snap. Oh, you can't tell. <laughs> It's a pearl snap shirt, just a plaid pearl snap shirt. This is a J. Crew factory cardigan, size medium. What is this? This feels really nice. Linen and cotton. Feels real nice. I actually dropped this on the in the uh, parking lot on the way to my car. I'm like, great. Yep. Drop the white thing on the ground. Dork. Here's some more pants. Here's another Torrid. Size 16 regular. These are the boyfriend. Jeans. I will pick up Torrid as long as it's in really good condition. You always have to check like the thighs and the crotch on like for peeling or rippling like this is the rippling you're looking for i will still sell it with minor rippling just make sure you note it because you don't see that stuff once you put it on uh what's this okay so this is anthropology again sparrow size small this is like a waffle knit hoodie just blue very lightweight feels good and these are the first pair of pants that I found. I've never sold this 
brand, the Joy Jeans. Um, they're true to color. So they're like this candy apple red slash no, kind of coral, kind of, <laughs> I don't know. But they have an ankle zip. They do have flat pockets, um, but just button there. What size are these? Size 27. I don't know, I thought they were fun. And this brand retails for a lot, resells for not a lot. So we'll see if how those go. Or if I just send them to buy, sell, trade. Okay, this is the last thing here. And I didn't research this because I knew I had heard it before, but I didn't know if it was good or bad. <laughs> Norton McNaughton, McNaughton, not not in whatever size medium these are shorts so like granny shorts super high-waisted if you want or go down to your knees if you want the back has the elastic you know the stretch Norton McNaughton so we'll see how those go I don't know <laughs> I liked it <laughs> but that's it so all of these things cost me $41.72 and I'm going to sell it for more than that. Let me know what your favorite find was down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already uh, because you're cool. And so am I. Anyways. I hope you have a great day. Thanks again so much for being here. If you made it through, you're the real champ. Don't forget to stay where. Bye.